Good morning, Grade 2s, and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud for your Grade 2 Maths lesson for today. If you have any questions throughout your lesson or after your lesson, you can just ask Mommy or Daddy to send an email to grade2 at worksheetcloud.com and we will try and answer your questions as quickly as possible. Now, if this is the first time that you are watching a lesson with us, my name is Teacher Taryn. And we are going to do grade 2 maths together, but today we are going to learn about arrow sums. Now before we can start with that, we've got to wake our brains up a little bit. And we are going to do some counting. We are going to count in tens and we're going to start at 4. Now if I count in tens, I add 10 every time. So 4 plus 10 is 14. And then 24. Now I hope you've started to see the pattern that's starting to form. 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, 94. Well done. Now if you've seen the pattern, you've seen that if we count in tens, we are just going to hop one number down on my hundred chart. Because when I count in 10 or I add 10, only my tens of my number is going to change. My unit, which is the 4, has stayed the same all the way to the bottom. So if I look at the number 14 and I add 10, if I add 10 to the 10, I'm going to get 24. Only my tens change. Now if I add another 10, only my 10s are going to change and it's going to become 34. And now if I add another 10, only the 10s are going to change to 40 and it will become 44. So now let's see if we can use this little trick with any number on our 100 chart. If we look at the number 46 and I add 10, why well, I ask what is 10 more than 46? I'm just going to hop to the number right below it. And only my 10s are going to change. So my 40 is going to become 50. So 56 is 10 more than 46. If I look at the number 63 and I ask what is 10 more than 63, I know it's going to be the number right below it, 73. But if I add 10 to my 60, I'm going to have 70. So it will be 73. Let's try one more. If we look at 28, I add 10, or what is 10 more? Only my 10s are going to change from a 20 to a 30. So 10 more is 38. Well done. We're going to need that later on. But for now, we are going to have a look at these few children. And they are going to run in a race. Now it's a special race because it is a wheelbarrow race. And this wheelbarrow has a team. This is team 13. You can see it on their wheelbarrow, the 13. But the 13 is because I add these two children's numbers together to get to 13. So I have a 10 and I have a 3. And two together is 13. That is why they are called team 13. But over here, we have team 15. So what do you think their numbers are going to be? Yes, a 10 and a 5. So team 15, if I rename 15, I'm going to have a 10. And number 10 is sitting inside the wheelbarrow. And number 5 is there at the back pushing the wheelbarrow. Now what's interesting about this race is... When the race is finished and both of these wheelbarrows go over the winning line, they are going to be added together, the 13 and the 15. But they have to stay in their wheelbarrow at all times. So they are always going to be team 13 and team 15 because they've got to stay together as a team. So let's see how they are going to race. Here's number 13. And team 13 seems to be as if they are in the front. They are ahead of team 15. And team 15 is trying to catch up to team 13. And there they are busy racing. 
And oh, no team 15 is still behind them. They're still not catching up. And there's now team 13 is far ahead. They are so far ahead. You can't even see team 15 here behind them. And team 15 decides. We're not going to be able to catch up to them if we stay in our wheelbarrow. So we are going to leave the wheelbarrow behind. We're not going to be a team anymore. We are now number 10 and number 5. We've now split from our team. We're going to run by ourselves without the wheelbarrow. But team 13 was so far ahead that even though team 10 and team 5, they are now separate, they're not in their wheelbarrow anymore, they tried really hard and they ran as fast as they could. But even though they jumped out of the wheelbarrow, team 13 won. And the crowd was cheering and there were some fireworks and their team 10 or number 10 and number 5 crossed the finish line separately, not as a team. So here comes number 13. Now remember, team 13 stayed a team the whole race. They didn't separate. They stayed 13. But number 10 and number 5 decided that they weren't going to win and they wanted to try catch up by running separately. So 10 and 5, when they crossed the finish line, they crossed as a 10 and a 5, not as a 15. But remember, the whole point of the race was that they were going to add all these numbers together when they crossed the finish line. But now that Team 15 didn't stay as a team, we are now going to add them separately when they cross the line. So we have a 13 plus a 10 plus a 5. And now we're going to add them separately because they decided they didn't want to be a team anymore. So now remember at the beginning of the race, we had team 13 and team 15. And we were going to add them together. And to make it a number sentence, we've got to say equals a block. Now 15 decided halfway through the race, they weren't going to win if they stayed in their wheelbarrow. So they split into a 10 and a 5. And now we're going to have a look at how we're going to add these together. So 13 stayed a team. They stayed together. Plus, now we're going to first add our 10. And then first we're going to get that 10 comes from over there. We're first going to get this answer. So 13 plus 10. Remember on our 100 block we said we add 10. We're just going to hop one number down. Only the 10s are going to change. So 13 plus 10 is 23. Now we're going to add our last team member from the 15 separately. We're going to add 5. And now we can say 23 plus 5. And that 5 came from 15. Is equal to 28. But we haven't used any equal to signs throughout this line. We've only used arrows because only at the end of the line did we get our final answer. So remember that our 10 comes from the 10 of 15 and our 5 comes from the 5 that's split up. Now right at the end, we can now add these two numbers together. We can say that 13 plus 15 is equal to, and that's the first time we've used an equal to sign, is equal to... 28 because we worked it out in this long step over here. Okay, let's try a few different numbers. Exactly the same method. We've just changed our numbers. Our new race is going to be a 16 and a 13. Remember, our race is so that we can add these two numbers together. To make it a number sentence, we've got to say equal to a block. Now, this block just means the same as a question mark or I don't know yet what the answer is, I'm first going to work it out, and at the end, I'm going to tell you what this answer is. It's just a placeholder. So 16 stayed the same, but halfway through the race, 13 decided we're not going to win if we don't split our team and run separately next to each other. So 13 then becomes a 10, 
and a 3. So 16 crossed the finish line as a team in their wheelbarrow. But now we're going to add the 10 and the 3 separately because they weren't a team anymore by the time the race was finished. Plus the 10. So 16 plus 10, we know that on our 100 block we're just going to jump one down and our unit stays the same but 10 plus the 10 is 26. And we draw an arrow to say we're not done yet with the sum, we still have some more steps. Now we're going to add the 3, the third person to cross the finish line, plus 3. And we're going to draw an arrow. And now we're going to get our final answer is 29. Now we can say that if these two wheelbarrows stayed as two teams, 16 plus 13 is equal to 29. Okay, but now, because I know all of you are very clever, we're going to try the same method with a higher number. Because you are so clever, let's try it together. We have 22 and 16, and they are going to run in their wheelbarrow race. And we're going to add them together when they cross the finish line, but we don't know yet what it's going to be because they haven't run the race yet. So we say equals a block for a number sentence. Now 16 halfway through decided we're not going to win this race if we don't split up. So 16 becomes a 10 and a 6 that are going to run separately. 22 decided to stay as a team because they were winning. And 22 now we're going to add the second person to come past the winning line was a 10. 22 plus 10 only my 10s change, I draw an arrow, and that becomes 32. Now 32 I'm going to add to my last person that crossed the finish line was our 6. Plus 6, and that is going to give me 38. And now at the end I can say 22 plus 16 is equal to 38. Now let's try one more. We're not going to use wheelbarrows anymore. We're going to pretend the wheelbarrows are gone and we're just going to do it as a sum. But we have to remember what happened during that race. Our first number stayed the same. We didn't split up or they didn't jump out of their wheelbarrow. They crossed the finish line as the same team number. But our second team, they split up. And 15 is actually a 10 and a 5. So our first team member that crossed the line by running is 10. We draw an arrow and 13 plus 10 is 23. Now we need to add our second member that crossed the line and that was a 5. And we draw an arrow and that will be 28. And we've got arrows throughout this long line because nowhere in here did we get our final answer until right at the end. But now we need to remember to rewrite our sum from the beginning. 13 plus 15, those were our two teams in their wheelbarrows. And then that will be equal to our last number that we worked out over here, which is 28. Now grade twos, I hope you've had a lovely time learning something new today about our wheelbarrow sums and how you can split up your second number to make your sum a little bit easier or quicker for you to work out. Until the next time that I see you, I hope you have a lovely afternoon. And this lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. Goodbye grade twos.